All right, everybody, welcome back to Project COVID 1953, our 1953 Chevy 150. I uh, want to talk to you about uh, the engine. So there were plenty of uh, posts and talk about me building the engine and everything. I'm getting to the point where I was going to test fire it. So, and I was just going to test fire it in the car. So I've got everything bolted together with the uh, transmission and the um, uh, clutch and everything. And I uh, mounted the uh, engine in place. I was getting everything together and ran into a little bit of a snafu. The radiator that I bought, I bought an aluminum radiator for it. And after I added the uh, electric fan uh, to it, drilled the holes, mounted it, uh, that's when I noticed that the uh, top, the neck, uh, was actually pushed down into the upper tank uh, and it was damaged. So luckily um, I took pictures of it, called the uh, people I bought it from and they sent me a new one. So it, no harm, no foul, except for it put me back a week uh, to test fire the engine. So, uh, but anyway, so I got that and I got the uh, uh, engine in place and uh, you know put in the uh, uh, starter plugs, um, basically hooked up a uh, uh, fuel hose to a can um, versus going ahead and doing the tank. I just went ahead and ran it off a gas can and uh, fired it up, uh, ran great, uh, no issues. Uh, the only thing I had at the end, it was a little scary, was I heard this like knocking noise uh, on the passenger side. Now for the life of me, I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Well, it turned out that the um, uh, valve cover, which I've got these aluminum valve covers, and it slid just enough so the rocker arm was tapping the inside of the valve cover. Uh, it turned out to be nothing, so which is good. So, uh, but yeah, everything, it's, uh, I ran it for, uh, uh, ran it twice, 20 minutes the first time, another uh, uh, 30 minutes the next time. Uh, everything's good. And then when I was done, I went ahead and pulled it back out because I'm gonna be doing body work and I'm gonna have to do a lot of work on the frame and the suspension and the firewall and all that. So I can't do that with the engine in there, but I did want to test fire it. Happy I did, everything worked out as planned. So um, on to the next step and uh, uh, another milestone, uh, getting the engine broken and getting it ready. So the next time it goes in, it'll be the last time, hopefully it goes in for a long time. So stay tuned.